Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good, and I figured that I would go ahead and get my bi-monthly YouTube video out of the way. Now, that's like the number one complaint I get these days. Serhan, do more videos, more videos, more videos. I will commit officially to two videos a month. Sorry, that's really all I can commit to or even care to commit to at this point. And in an effort to avoid making more videos than I would like to or have time to, I'm going to cover two topics in this video that have absolutely nothing to do with one another. First topic, the massacre of Brett Keen in Blog TV last night. Now, if you are the one or two subscribers that I have that have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, I will leave a link in the Sarah Han bar below. It's about an hour and a half long, and if you want to skip around, that's fine. But trust me, it's a hell of a show, and it's really worth it. Uh, basically, Straight Dope and Brett Keen finally confronted each other live on Blog TV, and hilarity fucking ensued. Um, it ended, oh, spoiler alert, it ended by Brett Keen doing what we all knew that he would do, hanging up on Straight Dope and running for the hills when he got called on his bullshit. Now, Brett Keen gets called on his bullshit all the time, but here's the thing about a pathological liar. I would imagine that if you're a pathological liar, your biggest fear is being caught in a lie. Like, um, in the same sense that if you're a kleptomaniac, your biggest fear is getting busted stealing some shit, right? But every day you're stealing. So there has to be an overwhelming amount of stress in being a pathological liar that I couldn't possibly fucking relate to. And I think I understand why Brett King split, right? I mean, he gets caught in one lie, two lies, three lies. 5, 7, 17, 20, all in a row, and the stress just weighs down on the poor bastard, and he can't admit the truth, because, well, that's not what liars do, and so his only option is flee, fucking flee, run, get out of there, get the fuck out of there now, right? And that's what he did. Uh, but I really don't want to talk so much about what happened in the chat. Who I want to address are the very few people that seem to be supporters of Brett King. Now, while these people are indeed few and far between, I know who most of these people are, and I've actually had conversations with most of these people. Let's run down the list. Um, S. Samf, or as in Mendham would call her, um, S. Skinarf, which is really funny. Um, Sister Sunshine, a YouTube favorite of mine. Jesus Freak, another YouTube favorite of mine. Um, a guy named Sharpie that nobody really cares about, and then there's J-Dub. Now, J-Dub, I'm going to leave him out of the conversation because we all know what's going on there, don't we? Right. Case closed. I actually subscribed to J-Dub. Uh, really good material. Anyway, we all know what's going on there. To the rest of you, S. Samp, I'll start with you because you seem to be the, the one most hell-bent on coming to Brett Keen's rescue. Now, I can only think of a couple of reasons that you would do this. The most obvious being that you feel bad for Brett Keen and all the shit that he gets. But as someone who, with, with your reputation, the, the fact that you feel sympathy and, and that's why you're defending Brett, that, uh, yeah, I, I'm having a hard time believing that. The, the other situation could be that you actually are convinced by Brett Keen, which means that you're absolutely fucking dumb. No, I mean, no, ser no, ser real, that's what it means. If you were in that blog TV chat last night, and you were, it's all you there, and, and you thought that Brett Keen's arguments against straight dope were compelling and made sense and were accurate, then you're an idiot. But I don't think you're that fucking dumb. Um... I'm sorry, you're not J-Dub. You're not that fucking stupid. Okay? You might be quite fucking stupid, but you're not that stupid. The fact of the... the so, so it's a mystery to me. Like, why, why you want to defend this guy? Uh, I, I'm really, really confused about that. Now, if it, if, it, if it turns out that you do just want people to leave him alone and back off and that sort of thing, I, I'm going to get to a solution to that problem. Same goes for uh, Sister Sunshine, Jesus Freak, um, all the people that commonly hang, or that Brett Keen hangs around in Stickham, 
And I'm going to give you a little piece of advice. At this point, it is actually beyond clear that Brett Kane is a fucking pathological liar. It's beyond clear, right? So you know it now. If you don't know it, you're, you're choosing not to. You're ignoring shit. You're not listening. You're all daydreaming. I don't know what the fuck it is. But if you listened to the conversation last night and you heard everything that was said and you still want to come to Brett's rescue, you still want to help him, you want people to back off of him and cut him a fucking break, here's the advice you give to Brett. Brett, we're cool, right? We're buddies, right? We chat on Stickham. I kind of like you. Why don't you just tell the truth and apologize? There it is. Hey, there it is. That would solve just about all of Brett Keane's problems. Well, not all of them, but this one, right? Tell the truth. Apologize. You want to be a friend to someone? You actually care about another person? Then you try to persuade them to do the correct thing. Do the right thing and be honest. You do not help a pathological fucking manipulative snake like Brett Keen by encouraging him. Oh, they were making fun of me. I was harassed by a mob of faceless trolls. Yes, you were, Brett. Yes, you were. We've got your back. We'll be here for you. Bullshit. You want to be there for somebody that matters to you for whatever fucking reason. Tell them to do the right thing and maybe they can save just a little bit of goddamn integrity. That's your solution. You're basically enabling a pathological liar. That's your role in this. All these people that you look at as Brett Keane's fucking trolls and enemies and what he would call haters, right, are people that actually give a fuck about the truth. Okay, second topic, completely unrelated to Brett Keane. I know, it's exciting, right? I'm pretty excited too. Uh, I'll put a link in the Sarah Han bar of the video that I'm referring to. And it's another one of these videos by some Christian guy, um, some random dude, all about how atheism is a religion. And I didn't watch much of his video because I've heard all that shit before and, you know, it's really boring to me. Instead, what I did was I left him a comment. It was a question, and my question was as follows. If atheism were a religion, would you view that as a negative thing? That's all I asked. That was my question, right? To which he replied, no. Good. We're on the right track so far. He says, no. I only made this video to point out that atheists here on YouTube were trying to weasel their way out of shock at God's question by saying that atheism was a lack of a belief, right? So he made this video about how it's not just a lack of a belief and on and on and on. Other people have done this, like Together for Peace and all of that. Doesn't impress me because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer Shock of God's question right now um, in a very fun way. And in answering that question, I'm going to propose a question of my own that I would like any of my theist subscribers to tackle answering. Okay? Um... Shock of God's question is, can you prove, I think this is basically it, can you prove that atheism is accurate and correct? Now, I'm going to say, keep in mind, I'm having fun here, one word answer, no. That's my answer, okay? I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to ask you a question of my own, okay? Given that I can't prove, it's really funny, given that I can't prove atheism is accurate and correct, why should I now be a theist? Okay? What I believe the question attempts to do is simply shift the burden of proof from the theist to the atheist, right? Even though theist comes first, then atheist, right? You have someone with a proposition, and then you have someone either accept it or reject it, right? That's exactly the way that has to happen, right? So theists make very specific claims. Now, if you're a Christian or a Muslim, whatever your religion, I want you to try to convince me to believe in the God that you do. Not God as some general concept, but the God that you believe in. So, again, no. I can't prove that atheism is accurate or correct. 
<laughs> but why but why now should I be a theist given that information Okay, that's it. That's really all, all I wanted to say about that. It, it, it's a really lame attempt, like I said already, to shift the burden of proof, and we all know that. So take a shot at my question. Given that answer, why should I be a theist? All right? There we go. Everybody have a good day. Peace.